Well, hello, everybody, and welcome. Thanks for watching. Today's topic, a holy grail vinyl LP punk rock original from the past has been recovered and is back in my possession. I used to have this album way back in the day. If you watch my videos prior, if you're my friend, you know, punk rock. Um, I had the great collection and then it was all stolen in the great punk rock robbery of the 80s. All my collections stolen, gone. And one of the top albums that I had that I played the hell out of was taken. And I just, I've been chasing it ever since. I, I've been hunting the used record bins for it forever with the knowledge that if I see it, bang, that's the irreplaceable has been replaced, you know? But it's been like 40 years, I don't know, 50 years. How many years since the 80s? I don't want to know. <laughs> but this album has been missing since then and now is found. All right, what album am I talking about? Punk Rock Compilation from Maximum Rock and Roll Presents. From Alternative Tentacles Records, who you may know from the Dead Kennedys, presents a compilation punk rock album. Majority of the bands, you know, maybe you never heard, but let me tell you, the songs that are on this double LP, kick-ass, early 80s. This was uh, uh, put out in 1982, so it was the height of the first generation of punk that bled into the uh, world out there. And all of these bands are from Northern California, Dead Kennedy country, and up. All right, so this is kind of like a mini Northwest punk movement of above California and Nevada bands. So there you go, California and Nevada bands. It, let me tell you, if you've never heard of this album and you're any kind of a punk rock fan, most especially from that first generation of punks that rose in the 80s, this album's for you, baby. If you've never heard it, give yourself a Christmas present of, wow, I'm back in when punk rock meant something. Now, what do I mean by that? Is these bands, here's the list, here's the back cover. Let me show you a list of all the bands that are on here. DKs are on here, and several bands that I know that you've heard of. But other bands, are prob prob they were all new to me. But let me tell you, these are the minute and a half, bam, 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 thrashers flying on stage, flying off stage, brutal punk that meant something because they were singing, talking, protesting, yelling, screaming about the conditions of early 80s, Reagan 80s USA. The lyrics are full of politically social. As a matter of fact, here's the, here's the tragedy. The lyrics of this album, as I'm re-listening, because I haven't even heard this album in like, you know, however many years. Listening through the lyrics on many of these songs is they they all still pertain today you know so uh switch out uh the name reagan and switch in a new prez and the kids are singing about i don't want to go to war i don't want to be a soldier i don't want to be one of reagan's conquistadors that's all in here uh economy for shit it's all in here the more things change, the more they stay the same. And this is the aggressive, on-fire punk rock songs that fit the era, okay? The era, here's the sleeve. <laughs> There's Reagan, right? So it's a lot of Ronald Reagan America. This is the original vinyl sleeve. Where did I find this? How did I find this? Discogs. You might have heard that I recently started getting deep into Discogs and actually trying to, you know, 
use the resource for what it is. And well, people sell and buy albums on there. And I was like, I'm going to look for Not So Quiet on the Western Front because I can't find it in record stores. I'll, on a whim, I looked it up. There's several copies. It's super expensive as you would think. All right. Um, but I found a reasonable priced album for my budget and pulled the trigger, baby. And the experience was um, 95% great. Uh, lost a few points because shipping took longer than it said it would take when I bought it. Uh, is that the fault of the seller? I don't know. Or slow-ass USPS, whatever. It was a few days, but it was a few days slower. And also, eh, I would take a bit of... Um, I would not have rated this cover. When you buy an album, just here comes a quick aside. When you buy albums, it's like buying any collectible. I learned this with collecting baseball cards. Condition, 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 you know? And so that uh, albums have a rating system. And you rate the cover and the packaging, and you also rate the vinyl itself, right, on a scale. They have a grading scale that everybody agrees to use. Personally, this person, I thought, pushed up the grading of this cover. It's not bad. It's pretty damn good. I just thought they were a little liberal with placing it ab about as high as where they did place it. Because uh, if you look close, there they didn't dishonest me. They didn't burn me. But this was mentioned. Okay. There's a ding in the corner. That was mentioned. Uh, but, you know, there, hey, there's some more mini dings up here. It's a little beat up up here. And a little bendy in the back right here when you go in the light like this. So I would not have rated it as high. But it's not beat up and it's really still pretty good. I'm not going to complain because this is my holy grail. Um, it's not a complaint, merely an observation stating facts. Um, and I learned something about, like, if I ever sell something on Discogs, I would not have rated it as high as this was rated. I, you know, everybody's on a sliding scale, right? Your eyes, are they the same as mine? That's why it's difficult when you buy something online, you buy something sight unseen. But in this case, it was going to be something sight unseen. I looked at the seller's, uh, what do you call it, um, recommendations and whatnot, just like you would do on any eBay seller or any other kind of uh, e-marketplace seller. You look, they had 100% favorable. I would not uh, say unfavorable. So the person is going to maintain their 100% favorable uh, rating, you know. Because that wasn't that bad. And let me tell you, they told the absolute truth on how high they rated the vinyl itself. <laughs> it's probably better than my copy was that I had back in the 80s because we partied like mothers and we danced and we drank and we were punk rockers. And so those albums probably had a little bit more uh, wear and tear than what these do. These were well taken care of, graded like they were well taken care of, and that's what I wanted, and that's what I got. So in the end, very happy with the seller. Okay, rambling. Just, I can't say enough about this. A double album. These bands, man, and it's, yeah, it's like when lyrics were witty. Not every lyric is political, okay? So not all about that. But the lyrics are, are witty and it's, and it's great. There's some great bands, great singles on here. Highly recommended. Okay. From Maximum Market Rock and Roll, from Alternative Tentacles. Let me rattle off the names of some of these bands just before we say goodbye. Let's see if you know any of these. Um, here we go. Uh, we start off with Intensified Chaos out of Berkeley. That song freaking rocks. You couldn't have picked a better song to lead off a double album of punk. Uh, who else is on here? Okay, so the bands, we have Social Unrest, Naked Lady Wrestlers, Killjoy, Fang, Capital Punishment. Um, I quoted their song earlier, Pun uh, Capital Punishment song, El Salvador. I don't want to go to El Salvador. Don't want to be one of Reagan's conquistadors, something like that. <laughs> uh, who else? Code of Honor is on here. Seven Seconds, you probably know. Uh, Frigidettes, uh, uh, who have a great song. I never heard of. I only know them from here, but I love their single that's on here. DKs are on here. Rebel Truth, Lennonberger, Impatient Youth, Bad Posture, 
Millions of Dead Cops. You might remember that band. Uh, and that's only side one and two, okay? Side three and four, look it up online if you want to know who else is on here. Great bands, great album, replaced a holy grail that's been gone forever. I'm so happy to the vinyl gods to bring this back to my collection. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Happy Labor Day, holiday, and all of that. Peace.